Now we will solve one problem in uh, distillation. First we will read out the problem. The feed to a distillation fractionating column analyzes by weight 28% benzene and 72% toluene. The, up to this here, the feed to the distillation column contains 28% benzene and 72% toluene. The analysis of the distillate shows 52 weight percent benzene and 5 weight percent benzene was found in the bottom product. Distillate contains 52 weight percent and the bottom products contain 5 weight percent benzene per 1000 kg of feed per hour. Feed rate is 1000 kg per hour. Now calculate the amounts of distillate and bottom products. And we will also calculate the percentage recovery of benzene. So we shall uh, draw a distillation column. See, this is the distillation column. This is a feed. Feed to the distillation column F and it is given, feed amount is given here, vapors are formed and these vapors are passed into the condenser and from condenser the product is taken and part of the product is reflexed or and the remaining is withdrawn as a product and this is the bottom product W. And in this problem, this problem contains two components, benzene and toluene. So first we will select which component uh, is uh, component A. Here benzene is, benzene is uh, present in more quantity here, that is in the distillate. What is the amount here? 28% in feed. 28% benzene. Benzene is component A. Why benzene is component A? Because present in more quantity. More quantity in distillate. Okay. What is the percentage here? 51%. 52%. This is 52% benzene. And this contains 5% benzene. Okay. And this is 28% benzene. This is the information given. Okay. This is the information given. Feed contains 28%. Distillate contains 52% bottoms contains 5%. So from this we understand that more quantity of benzene is uh, uh, withdrawn as a top product. So here we can understand that benzene is the more volatile component and having less boiling point. So though the boiling points of the components are not given, we can make out uh, like this uh, uh, with help of percentages. So here then which component toluene? Toluene is component B. So this contains more toluene, less benzene. And one feature of the distillation is here, all components present in all streams. Feed also contains both A and B. Distillate also contains both A and B. And butter products also contain A and B. But the difference is what? Here more quantity of A and very less quantity of B, like that. Here, more quantity of B and less quantity of A. Thus, a separation to some extent of separation is achieved in this distillation column. So, uh, toluene is component B. And what information is given? Uh, weight of, weight of, or feed input, feed input, feed, Feed entering, you can say it is given, mentioned at the rate of 1000 kg per hour. This is 
let it be F. This is equal to 1000 kg per hour. Okay. Feed entering is given. And distillate obtained. Distillate obtained. Equal to let it be D kg per hour. And residue obtained. Residue obtained let it be W kg per hour. We don't know these two. This is our question. D is how much and W is how much. Next, what else information is given? We assume that XF is weight fraction of benzene in feed. We always assume XF for more volatile component. So, XT is weight fraction of benzene in a distillate. And XW is weight fraction of benzene in a residue or bottom product. Okay. So, all these three are for a component A. You should always take in every problem like that only. All these are component A. A. Component A means less boiling point. Less boiling point and that means more volatile. Less boiling point means yeah, more volatile. Okay. So this is taken. And for tall wind we need not write 1 minus x that we know last class we have discussed. So now to calculate D and W, we write the material balance expressions. So, overall balance, overall material balance for the distillation column here, whole thing. Okay, this whole thing. This is overall balance. So, input to this means what are the lines that are crossing into and out of this broken line. So, here this is input and this is output. Here, this won't be considered because this is our line and this is the output. So, input is equal to F. This is the only input. Output is D and W. So, F equal to D plus W. This is equation 1. This is feed, feed and this is distillate and this is a bottom product, bottoms or residue, both are same. Okay, so that is the overall balance. Now uh, we shall write uh, balance for the benzene, component A balance, component A that is a benzene balance okay so component a <coughs> balance is what benzene present in the feed must be equal to benzene present in the distillate plus benzene present in the bottoms so benzene in feed is equal to benzene in distillate plus benzene in residue okay so this won't be considered our, our part of writing material balance is this so which line is crossing this that only we need to consider these are not considered that is internal so benzene in feed feed is total feed is f and here xf is the weight fraction so, here F, XF is equal to uh, benzene in distillate. Here, D is the total and here XD is the weight fraction of benzene in a distillate. Okay, so that is D, XD. You will get what? By multiplying this, 
you will get the amount of benzene in the distillate you will get. Here by multiplying F and X you will get the amount of uh, benzene in the feed and then amount of uh, benzene in residue this is e plus W X W. Okay. So this is uh, equation 2. This is benzene balance that is component A balance. Now we will substitute the values from 1. D plus W equal to 1000 that is little b equation 1 and from 2 from 2 what F the idea we write XD is how much 0.28 that is XD into D plus W is 5% that is 0 0.05 W is equal to 1000 into 0.28 that is 280. So 0.28 D plus 0.05 W is equal to that is equation this is 1, 2, 3 we will write. Okay. This is equation 3 and this is equation 4. Okay. So now two equations in terms of D and W. One equation, second equation. In terms of D and W. Two unknowns, two equations. Therefore solving, solving 3 and 4 we get D so much of kg per hour and W and W so much of kg per hour. Its value is 489.3 489.3 and W is 511.4 511.4 Okay? So thus we got uh, D and W values. And here, this is uh, XW weight fraction of benzene in the bottoms. Okay? This is XF. Weight fraction of benzene in the feed. We always take XF, XD and XW only for component A. Component A here is benzene. Okay. So that is A bit. So distillate. Answer. Distillate D equal to so much and residue or bottom product. bottom product W is equal to so much that is A bit and B bit is percentage recovery ok percentage recovery recovery term we use for what for the which component is being present in the distillate that component that is percentage recovery of A that is benzene of benzene that means A okay A is being recovered in the distillate so percentage recovery so uh, how to write the formula is percentage recovery is equal to of A is equal to how much A is present here divided by how much A is fed in the feed. So how much A is present here means A in distillate. We can write in words A in distillate divided by A in feed. Okay. How much total amount of A recovered here that is A in distillate. And how much A we are feeding to the destination column? That is A in feed. That is into 100. 
So A in distillate means what? D is the total amount of distillate and XD is the weight fraction of A. So DXD is the amount of A present here. A amount. Amount of A here is DXD. So here DXD. In the same way A in the field total is F and XF is the weight fraction into 100. Okay. So now if you substitute uh, how much is D is 489.3 489.3 into XD is 0 0.52 divided by F is 1000 into XF is 0.28 into 100 that is equal to 90.87 90.87 percentage that is percent recovery of benzene that is the answer okay this is percentage recovery here and we can also calculate it is not mentioned but we can also calculate percentage loss of benzene how much is lost in the bottom product whatever the amount of benzene that is present here that we are considering it as a loss only because the actual operation is whatever benzene is entering here is required to be collected here but some is lost so percentage loss also you can uh, calculate percentage loss of uh, A you can say percentage loss of A A here is benzene so loss is A in distillate here no loss means A in bottoms A in bottoms divided by A in field how much is entering into 100 that is percentage loss so A in the bottoms is what W, X, W by F, X, F. Okay? Into 100. So, that is equal to W is 511.4 uh, 511.4 into X, W is 0 0.05 divided by denominator is same. 1000 into F is 1000 into 0 0.28 into 100. That is equal to 9.13%. 9.13%. So here A is what? The benzene here. More volatile component. Okay. This is how to calculate amounts of distillate and amount of uh, residue that is bottom product and what percentage is recovered here and what percentage is lost here. Thank you.